more than a neighbor in space. It sparked curiosity in scientists, Hollywood producers, and kids in school. But tonight, people in Fort Myers getting a chance to take a good long look at the red planet. Not from a telescope, though. They got to do it with their hands. All new tonight, Fournier Corner's Michael Cadigan going to the Calusa Nature Center and Planetarium, where they unveiled an out-of-this-world exhibit. Michael. Amy, tonight people got a very special opportunity to actually touch a piece of Martian history. That's right. They didn't have to look at it in a textbook or a documentary. Nope, they got to see it in person, and there's actually a small piece of it that's safe to touch. This little rock, about the size of a golf ball, is the star of a new exhibit. This meteorite is a little dark gray object. And it's little because Martian meteorites are rare. So rare, the Calusa Nature Center and Planetarium is one of the few places in the country where you can now have your own close encounter. We are about to become the fourth place in the United States where you can actually touch a piece of Mars. All thanks to the donation of meteorite hunter Tim Heights. The little chunk of Martian rock came a long way. It was a pretty amazing trip to get here. It was knocked loose from something crashing into Mars and wound up in the deserts of Morocco, where it spent most of its time hiding. These were ones that had probably been there for a while, uh, maybe two or 3,000 years they've been on the desert floor. You can see in these pics on some of the hunts Heights has been on, meteorite hunting is a lot like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. My first four hours hunting, I found a 120 pound meteorite four foot down in the ground. In other times, he's uh, not so lucky. Come to find out it would be a wagon wheel or a piece of chain that fell off of something. But what made Heights travel the globe isn't just the thrill of digging up something from space. It's sending the minds of our kids straight back into orbit. Hopefully that'll create a science scientist someday. And if you missed your chance tonight to see the Martian meteorite, don't worry, it's actually done moving for the time being. It already moved and survived space from Mars and hit Earth and moved from Morocco to Fort Myers. So it's gonna be here for the long haul. Reporting in Fort Myers, Michael Cadigan, Fox 4, in your corner. All right.